Cryptocurrency is the hot ticket item right now, and if you are not directly investing in it, you still know people that are. The problem for people living in developing nations is the gargantuan amount of energy required for crypto mining. In countries such as Iran, the recent uptick in interest in cryptocurrencies has caused big problems for their power grid, causing blackouts in every major city across the country. Yeah, it was totally messed up. Iran has now banned cryptocurrency mining for at least four months, but the Iranian government said the ban could last even longer. Let's take a look at why Iran had to take this drastic measure to keep the power on. Before we dig into this one, please take a few seconds to smash that subscribe button and give us a like and tickle that bell icon. It's only a few seconds for you in exchange for a lifetime of our gratitude. Thank you. Since Bitcoin blazed the cryptocurrency trail over a decade ago, many other cryptocurrencies have followed in its footsteps. Now, millions of people are investing into crypto hoping to strike it rich like so many already have. Cryptocurrency must be digitally mined and that requires massive amounts of energy. And with more and more people jumping onto the crypto bandwagon, power grids all over the world are starting to struggle with the demand. Iran is one of these countries. The process, known as mining, requires computers around the world to complete rapid calculations to try to solve the same puzzle. It always takes 10 minutes, and the winner is rewarded with some digital Bitcoin. Then a new puzzle is generated, and the whole process repeats for another 10 minutes. In August 2018, a Princeton University associate professor expert in cryptocurrency testified at a hearing of the U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources. The testimony said that Bitcoin mining accounts for nearly 5 gigawatts, or about 1% of the world's energy use. That is slightly more than is what is used by the entire state of Ohio. Electricity must be made from other sources. The process creates large amounts of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, and damage to the ozone. These allow sunlight to enter the Earth's atmosphere, but then trap the heat. So the more electricity produced, the hotter the planet gets. As more people learn about Bitcoin and mining, and as the price of Bitcoin increases, more are using their computers to mine Bitcoins. As more people join the network and try to solve these math puzzles, you might expect each puzzle to be solved sooner, but Bitcoin is not designed that way. The software that mines Bitcoin is designed so that it always will take 10 minutes for everyone on the network to solve the puzzle. It does that by scaling the difficulty of the puzzle, depending on how many people are trying to solve it. The more people mining, the harder the puzzle gets. That is why it will always take 10 minutes. In other words, although the time taken to produce a Bitcoin doesn't vary, the computing power used to produce it does. As more people join the Bitcoin network and try to mine Bitcoins, it becomes harder and requires more computing power and electricity. The best Bitcoin mining software doesn't just let you participate. It minimizes downtime so you can mine more efficiently. This means a near constant cycle of electricity use. There are various Bitcoin mining computers out there, but many companies have focused on application-specific integrated circuit ASIC mining computers. These use less energy to conduct their calculations. Mining companies running lots of ASICs miners, as businesses claim to use only one watt of power for every gigahash per second of computing performed when mining for Bitcoin. If this data is correct, the Bitcoin network in 2020 consumes 120 gigawatts per second. This converts to about 63 terawatt hours per year. Here's how energy use relates to hashtag volume. One gigahash per second is one watt. One terahash per second is one kilowatt. One petahash per second is one megawatt. One exahash per second is one gigawatt. This amount of power equates to 156 million horses, 1.3 million horses per gigawatt, or 49,440 wind turbines, 412 turbines per gigawatt, generating power at peak production per second. No matter how many miners, it still takes 10 minutes to mine one Bitcoin. At 600 seconds, 10 minutes, all else being equal, it will take 72,000 gigawatts or 72 terawatts of power to mine a Bitcoin using the average power provided by ASIC miners. One watt per gigahash per second is fairly efficient, so this is likely a conservative estimate. Media outlets and bloggers have produced various estimates of the electrical energy used in Bitcoin mining, so the accuracy of reported power use is sketchy at best. Many residential miners use more power. To calculate the cost of how much power it would take you to create a Bitcoin, you need to know a few things first. First, what is the cost of electricity where you live? 
Second, how much power would you consume? More efficient computer equipment uses less power, which means lower power bills. The lower the price of electricity, the less cost there is to the miners. This increases the value of the Bitcoin to miners where the costs are lower to produce. Bitcoin's exchange rate has moved wildly up and down during its history. If the price stays above the cost to produce a coin, doing the work in an area where energy costs are very low is important to make the practice worthwhile. Apparently, the energy required for digital mining was too much for Iran's power grid to handle, and all of major cities have been experiencing blackouts and ever-increasing rates. Just a couple of weeks ago, Iran's government announced a ban on the mining of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The country's president, Hassan Rouhani, announced Wednesday, as officials blame the energy-intensive process for blackouts in a number of Iran cities. The ban is effective immediately and will be in place until September 22nd, Rouhani told State TV, in the latest sign of high-profile rejection of the popular digital currency. The Iranian capital of Tehran and several other large cities have faced multiple daily power outages for the past few months, and officials blame it on a natural gas shortage, a prolonged drought that's hobbled the country's hydroelectricity plants and, increasingly, Bitcoin mining. And a majority of the energy consumption from Bitcoin mining is coming from illegal miners, or those operating without licenses, government officials say. That's prompted a nationwide crackdown on illegal Bitcoin miners, as well as temporary electricity cuts to legal Bitcoin farms as power demand surges. Thanks to increased consumption due to coronavirus stay-at-home orders. As temperatures in the country rise, power consumption in recent weeks has been so high that some medical facilities have struggled to run their cold storage facilities for COVID-19 vaccines. In January, Iranian police confiscated nearly 50,000 Bitcoin mining machines that were using subsidized electricity illegally. The miners had been consuming 95 megawatts per hour at cheap, state-subsidized rates, according to Iran's state-run power company, Tavernier. Iran's government says that 85% of Bitcoin mining in the country is done illegally. The country of 82 million is home to 50 licensed mining farms, which use a total of 209 megawatts of power, Tanavir said Wednesday. The cryptocurrency, which hit record high prices in April above $63,000 per coin, has come under fire of late for the energy intensiveness behind its production and its consequent environmental cost. Bitcoin miners use purpose-built computers to solve complex mathematical equations that effectively enable a Bitcoin transaction to go through. The miners are rewarded for their efforts in the digital currency. However, the entire process is incredibly energy intensive because of the amount of power used by the computers. Tehran allows cryptocurrencies mined in Iran to pay for imports of goods, which can help it get around the wide-ranging U.S. sanctions that had been imposed on the country by the Trump administration. Iran's central bank forbids trading cryptocurrencies mined abroad, though these can be found on the black market, according to Iranians living in the country. Around 4.5% of all Bitcoin mining globally took place in Iran between January and April of this year, according to blockchain analytics firm Elliptic. That put it among the top 10 in the world, while China came in first place at nearly 70%. China in mid-May announced its own ban on financial and payment entities providing services for crypto transactions, which sent Bitcoin and several other digital currencies tanking. In April, Turkey's central bank banned the use of cryptocurrencies and crypto assets, citing transaction risks. Maybe if Iran put more money into its infrastructure instead of funding terrorists in Gaza, it would be able to keep up with the energy demands of digital mining. But that's just a speculation. Give us your opinion on this ordeal in the comments section below. Then be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.